First day of practice in the books here, uh, obviously a shorter layoff than usual and, and a lot of newcomers to integrate. How was it today out on the court for you guys? Uh, it was just great to be out there again. Um, we did have the whole team here um, for most of the time during camps a, few, a month or so ago. Um, so we got to be together, which was really fantastic. But this being out on the court, we, you know, we did our we did our challenge testing this morning. It was really great to see, you know, everyone's been able to work out this summer and, you know, just to see the progress that we've made in such a short amount of time. And then we had our first practice and we have a huge list of things we want to get better at after after watching the first few hours. What are the first couple of days typically like? I know it just changes as you get into the season practices and the focus of practice change, but uh, what, are, what are these first few days at least like and the things you're trying to accomplish? So we have a really athletic team this year, but a lot of us haven't been on the team very long. So um, for us this year, we a lot of what we're doing is trying to put in our systems and have people understand you know, the way that we want to read the game and play the game and some decisions that we want to make. So that's going to be our first few days. And then um, as we get that down, I think we're always, always, always trying to be really good at the serve and pass part of the game too. Do you ever feel like it's enough time between now and the start of the season to, to get in everything you need to get before you play? Or does it just kind of come to a point where you got to play to see what you're like? Um, I think there's always a million things you want to do. You have a list, but we try to stay really focused on, you know, what our big three are. And we try to stay really true to what, you know, what we know we have to do to be to be good and kind of accomplish those big things. And then there'll be time later on to get back and accomplish some of the little things that you have to do. But for us, I think, you know, just focusing on on our team defense, on our out of system play, and then just trying to be really good at the serve and pass game. I think that's you know really all that we can try to play right now. How important is it to have a couple of very experienced members of the team? Because despite the fact that you do have a lot of newcomers, there are a couple of people that have seen a lot of minutes, a lot of points in your, their time at Ferris State. Yeah, and I would say, you know, we do we do have a, a couple of players that have received a lot of honors and you know and been pretty integral parts of the team and have a really good grasp of the game, and um, so that's really nice. We have a lot of players that are are new, but we're really athletic and these players have played a lot of volleyball. So even though they're new to the team, they're they're really good volleyball players. So it's just it's exciting to just kind of put them into our systems and trying to work around each other.